Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. This is an article I ran across on uh, sciencealert.com and it's uh, talking about how scientists have identified a virus with DNA stolen from a black widow spider. Okay, the article states, a recent effort to sequence the genome of an unusual virus has led to a bizarre discovery. One third of the virus's genes are animal-like and match up with the DNA of toxin found in black widow spider venom. Okay, let's read that again. It says, a recent effort to sequence the genome of an unusual virus had led to a bizarre discovery. One third of the virus's genes are animal-like and match up with the DNA of a toxin found in black widow spider venom. Okay. It says, it's not yet clear how the virus acquired this spider DNA and that of other animals too. The researchers suspect it co-opted the genes to make its day job easier, so to speak, infecting bacteria that live within spiders and insects. Discovering the DNA related to the black widow spider toxin gene came as a total surprise because it is the first time that a phage, a virus that infects bacteria, has been found carrying animal-like DNA, says biologist Seth Bornstein from Vanderbilt University. Okay, so it says that discovering DNA related to the black widow spider toxin gene came as a total surprise. Because it's the first time that a phage, a virus that infects bacteria, has been found carrying animal-like DNA. Okay. It says Bordenstein and his wife, microbiologist uh, Sarah, have been studying the virus in question for 15 years now, but never guessed that by sequencing its DNA they would find this never-before-seen trait. Okay, never before seen in a virus. They've been researching it 15 years and they just discovered this. Usually viruses stick within established biological boundaries, infecting just one kind of organism, either bacteria, archaea, single-celled organisms without a nucleus, or your coats, animals, and plants. But this virus, called WO, bucks the trend. Being a bacterial phage, its primary target is bacteria, Wellobachia, but it has somehow developed a way to infiltrate animal cells too. It's the first report of a virus infecting multiple domains of life. Biologist is Elizabeth McGraw from Monash University in Australia, who wasn't involved with the research, told Ed Young at The Atlantic. WO's broader perspective on life seems to come with plenty of perks. McGraw says the virus's chimeric arsenal makes it a kind of frankenfage that may be better at infecting animals than its ancestors that contained only phage genes. Okay, so basically the virus's arsenal makes it like a Frankenstein, a Frankenfage. And uh, it'll be better at infecting animals uh, than its ancestors could. Well, we don't know for sure how WO pulled off this genetic heist, the Bordensteins think that doing so must have been necessary for the virus to both infect and then escape from its bacterial focus, Wolobachio. These bacteria infect arthropods, insects, spiders, and crustaceans by wrapping themselves in the animal cell membranes. Therefore, WO to do its thing and get a Wolobachia, it has to punch through two layers of membranes, bacterial and animal. To infect the bacterial, bacteria with phages native DNA would be sufficient but first it has to 
perforate the antipod layer to get inside. This is where animal genes are likely to come in handy because the spider venom, venom incorporated in WA's DNA matches up with the genes that code for latrotoxin, a deadly neurotoxin that's effective because it pokes holes in cell membranes. So the DNA the virus has taken is the uh, poison toxin from the uh, the ability to make the poison toxin that the uh, Black Widow possesses. Well, the, what, while that ability is useful for subduing the Black Widow's prey, it also seems to double as an effective break and enter kit for the uh, nimble WO. We suspect it makes pores in the membranes of the arthropod cells that surround Wolbachia thereby allowing the phage to overcome both the bacterial and arthropod membranes that surround it, Seth Bordenines explains. In addition to the genes for latrotoxin, the researchers also found evidence of other animal genes in WO's DNA, including sequences, your coyotes used to sense pathogens, and avoid immune responses. All good things to know for an enterprising bacterial phage. So, pretty weird stuff. Definitely weird stuff. And uh, I say that's not the only uh, place you can find this. That was in a science alert. This is in Nature World News, Black Widow, DNA found, uh, anyway, <laughs> pop-ups, gotta love them, but anyway, let's just say, uh, a new virus out there taking, a. Uh, uh, DNA from uh, other things, I guess you could say. Pretty weird stuff. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, hope you all are doing well. Uh, just uh, take each day as it comes. And uh, that's all we are all we can do anyway. So, uh Take care, and I will uh, talk to you all next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye.